tell me, what does it take to get decent paid gigs these days? Show me the money! Welcome to another video from Giselle Music Motivator. My name is Giselle and this is video number five in the series How to Break into the Music Industry. Don't worry if you haven't seen all the other videos, they are in the links below this one. We will be dealing with three things today, mainly how to get paid gigs, but also a bit on riders and your demo. And for next week's video, I will be talking to you about how to make a demo in your own home. So let's get to work. There is a sure fire way to get well paid gigs as an artist and grow your career and your fan base at the same time. And you can go from zero to hero in just under a year. Just remember to spread your gigs out throughout the year to keep your fans interested and coming to your performances. Know your local gig venues as well as those of the nearest three cities to you. The first thing you have to do is attend local open mics. Find out where they are and do as many of them as you can. Remember to get there early so that you can get the best slot and not be right at the end of the evening when most people have gone home. Whilst you're at the open mics, remember you must do your networking skill too. If you don't know about networking, it's in the links below because it's been in one of the earlier videos. Also, every time you sing, remind everyone to sign up to your social media so you can get your numbers up. Number two, do as many local low paid gigs as you can for friends and family, invite them, get your set list down pat. This is where you're going to practice your set list and I would include a couple of covers too. Get them all to follow you on your social media and then you're ready for step three. By now you have done lots of open mics and performances for friends and family. I want you to have been recording them. You can use your phone and then there's a brilliant free InShot app. It's called InShot and you can do beautiful edits and even some fun stuff after you've recorded. But you really, really need live footage before you get to this next step. So the next step and thereafter, you're always going to be recording yourself, okay? Videoing I'm talking about. So step three. In this step, you're going to contact an artist who's probably mid-size step up from you anyway. They may or may not have a manager, but you're going to reach out with your live video and your demo, which we'll talk about later on in this video, and you're going to ask to be an opener for them. When they are, and this is the important bit, when they are touring and they're coming to your town or city, because they won't necessarily have the fans they need, and your big selling point is that you know people locally and you can invite fans to their gig. So that's step three. Okay, so you're going to take it up a notch. You are going to do your first headliner gig. But here's the secret. It's not going to be in your town or city. You're going to go to your nearest town or city. Here, you're going to approach two local artists or even three to open for you so that they can guarantee fans which will give you an income to your first headlining gig. Okay, so now you are on a roll. You have your set this down. You've got some fabulous live footage. Now I want you to contact festivals. They can be small festivals. They can be indie festivals, which can be a large festival, even though it's indie. And, or you can also approach larger festivals that favor local independent artists. So, you have the footage, you have the confidence, go for the festivals next. All right, so now you are ready for the last step in this year trip, and that is touring. Touring, though, on a very, very small scale. I'm saying five venues, four to five venues in the nearest cities to you. Remember I said you needed to know the local gig areas. Well, this is why. So now, remember, you've got the information to invite, how to invite local people to perform with you, to open for you in these various locations. And you will have done a mini tour, which will have increased your fan base. Phew! From zero to hero in under a year. Before you go from zero to ruling the world, though, 
You will need to be able to create your own riders, which are your technical requirements for each gig that you do, each venue that you do for you and your band if you're using one. So you need to be able to create riders that the people can understand. And the best way to do that is to use a, for example, free piece of software that you can get on a website. And the website that I love to use is Musicotech. And I'll put the link below this video so you can jump straight to it and start creating your riders. So the last thing I want to talk about today is your demo. So as I told you before, I will be doing next week a whole thing on your demo. But why you need a demo to get gigs is so that you can give it to the people who are running the music in the various gig venues. You can give them your demos as well as your live performing videos to get the gigs in the first place. Go to Giselle Music Motivator to find out more on how to break into the music industry, including how to write hit songs, the career information, and also how to have the correct mindset to succeed as a creative entrepreneur in the music industry itself. Also, if you have any questions or comments for me, leave them below and I will do my best to help you. Finally, if you are sure you want to know more about how to break into the music industry, please remember to click subscribe and you can then watch more videos just like this one. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.